How's it going guys? I am Matthias and it is Sunday. So that means I'm going to be reading your comments. And today I'm reading all of your craziest stories about things that happen to you that no one believes happen to you. And remember to stay to the very end to hear my craziest story that no one believes. But before we get into that, the question of the day for the next episode is, what's the craziest natural disaster that you've ever witnessed or been in? I wanna know down in the comments below and I will read those in a future episode. Let's begin. My thing that nobody believes is the one time I was at the beach, it was pretty remote, and I had swam out around a kilometer and a half, roughly 0.75 of a mile, and I was just floating there, enjoying the sunshine when out of the blue, a whale came out of the ocean right next to me. I ended up swimming back as fast as I could in terror. P.S. I was just 12. Even though it's a whale and it's like not there to hurt you, I would still be terrified as well. It's just like a huge animal and you're like, ah! Nobody believes me that I've never been on an upside down roller coaster. When I went to Disney World, my sister got put into time out. We were about four or five and Stitch walks up to me and laughs at my sister. Not even my best friend believes that. I fell asleep in a Justin Bieber concert because Justin took so long to get out so I just closed my eyes and went to sleep and when I woke up, it was the last song and I had to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I was seven. I saw someone robbing a car and went next to him. He gave me a creepy look. I ran in fear and told my mom and she wouldn't believe me. Yup. It was vacation and I was swimming in the ocean. Suddenly an inch from my face, a seagull dropped a fish in front of me. Blood got in my hair. My family didn't believe me even when I showed them the body of the fish. The fish was still there floating by the time we left. The seagull kept circling over my head. I don't know what I did. No one believes me that I can swim a mile in under 20 minutes. Some people do it, but most don't. It annoys me so much. That's a far distance. I don't believe you. I went in the bathroom and saw a tarantula. I ran into my parents' room screaming, but there was a spider. They looked at me and said it was probably just a mini spider, but the next day when they used the bathroom, the spider was still there and they weren't terrified. I was playing on the roof of my house. I was only 10. I was chased by a squirrel and don't ask me why I was scared. I tripped on a twig and fell off the roof on our van, my mom was listening to music the whole time. No one believes me when I was home alone, loopy off some meds my doctor gave me for my sprained arm and I was thinking someone broke into my house and nearly attacked my older brother with a replica master sword. My crazy story is that I was abducted by aliens. Nobody believes me, but I do have a weird tattoo from the abduction. It looks like Australia, which is where I was when I got abducted. Maybe you just got really drunk and your friends took you to get a tattoo. That's the most likely scenario. So I was at Mickey D's and my aunt was driving. I will never get this image out of my head. We saw five or six naked dudes getting kicked out of the place. No one will believe us. When I was 12, I was in Mexico. I was swimming in the ocean with a bunch of cool fish when a giant fish swam at me. So I moved to the side as quickly as I could. As the fish went by my hand, went all the way down it, it turns out it was a barracuda. My cat cut me, but everyone thinks I'm emo because I covered my eye with my hair so everyone thinks I cut myself. I was eating a sandwich at the beach and then suddenly a big herd of seagulls came right over me. I ended up throwing the sandwich at them. All my mom and dad said was, well, you're not getting another one. True story. <laughs> Did you not like the sandwich? Had you like complained about it already? Maybe that's why they didn't believe you. I was in the hospital and I had a concussion when the girl in the bed next to me wouldn't respond to me. So I called the nurse and it turned out I saved the girl's life. True story about my friend, Maya. A long time ago, I fell asleep and when I woke up, I was outside somehow. No one believes that I opened the door, walked downstairs, opened and locked the front door, and then woke up in my driveway. I have no idea why. When I was little, I lived in Puerto Rico. I can't remember my age, maybe six. I was taking a bath and playing with a Monsters Inc. toy. I began pretending it was biting me and somehow ended up actually ripping some skin off my knee. I still bear a scar at 17 years of age. To this day, I can't figure out how I managed to do that. Once we went to France on vacation, we were driving up a steep hill with really heavy bags in a minivan. As we were driving, we realized that we'd gone down a wrong turn. As we reversed, the minivan buckled and we began rolling backwards towards the edge of a cliff. Luckily, once my family had got out, the driver managed to go back up the hill and we were away again. The craziest thing that ever happened to me was that I got shot at when I was age nine. We were leaving my cousin's house when my car window was shot at. Then the whole thing caved in on my arm. I was screaming and crying for about 14 minutes until the ambulance came. My parents were mad. 
It left a small scar on my arm. I told my friends and they never believed me, but that was three years ago, so I don't really care what they think now. Craziest thing that no one believes happened is me passing English class. I got hit by a car and ran away scared, but not injured. A stupid seagull, more seagulls. <laughs> a stupid seagull took my phone and I never saw it again. My parents believed I lost it in the sand. No one believes me. A Seagull took it. Those seagulls can be crafty. Once I was running near the swings at the park and I got too close and one of the kids kicked me in the head. I was knocked out for five minutes and when I woke up, my parents thought I was just hit by a soccer ball. There was a game going on nearby. <laughs> Our school was on lockdown because this guy murdered his girlfriend and no one knew where he was. The scariest part was that it happened right by my house. I told my friends and they called me a liar. No one believes I was born with a hole in my heart. It's very common people. I was in the fifth grade. Everyone in class had to go to the bathroom at the same time. Well, I didn't need to go and I refused to even try so the teacher told me I had to stay in the bathroom with this dude who hated me until I went. He told me that if I didn't go now, he would get the teacher, so I tried, but he bit himself and told everyone I did it. What? <laughs> Long story short, I got expelled and no one believes me. What the crap? <laughs> what? I had a skin disease during spring break and no one thought I did because I had perfect skin at school. One time I was watching Netflix in my room when a massive spider, probably a black widow, swung down from the ceiling onto my face and I panicked and I screamed, help! at the top of my lungs, causing it to scamper off, nearly biting me. 10 minutes later, it happened again by the same Black Widow. The next day, we called an exterminator to find three more Black Widows. Everyone I told that to, with the exception of my parents and older brother, said, you're totally lying. Every time I persisted, it happened, and they said the same thing. I accidentally pepper sprayed myself a few weeks ago, but I didn't know what it was, and it was aimed at my eyes. People think I was just saying that to get attention, but it was true. I was riding a Razor electric dirt bike and I turned around and my head hit a branch and I flew back and the bike kept going for about 40 or 50 feet, but no one believes me. Luckily, I was wearing a full face helmet, so I was fine besides a gash on my right arm from a rock, but my head was okay. I was home alone and I wanted to listen to music, so I turned on the radio. The radio wouldn't stop going through stations and I turned it off and called my friend and I told her I think there's a ghost in my house and then the call ended before she got to say anything. A bear stole my swimsuit. <laughs> I was on holiday with a bunch of my friends and I went to the toilet and found 250 pounds and no one still believes me. I was in the car with my mom and my brother when some papers fell down from the little mirror above her head. She stopped the car to move them back and a driver just zooms right in front of us. My mom thought it was a miracle that the papers fell or else we would have been in a car crash and proclaimed my aunt's spirit protected us. Everyone says it's just luck, but the papers were secured and that should not have fell. People still don't believe it though. I saw Robert Downing Jr. in a minivan in Fairfax. My mom didn't believe me when I told her. True story. I was verbally assaulted by a parrot. Yes, this actually happened. When I was about five or six, I remember walking up and seeing a really tall man in the hallway leaning on the front door. Both my parents and I were in the living room and he just kind of stood there before, like going somewhere else. Neither of my parents believed me then and still don't 10 years later. No one believes me that I was almost stolen by some random lady. When I was like nine or 10, I was walking to school and I swear I saw a tarantula run across the path in front of me. I was really scared and ended up being late for school. I tried to explain this to my teacher why I was late, but then she didn't believe me because we don't really get wild tarantulas in England. So many ghost stories to pick from, but the freakiest one was when I was 10, maybe. Me and my brother and our friend Nick were sitting on the top of our jungle gym in my backyard when a woman came around from the side of the house and walked inside my house through the closed back door. I ran inside and looked around, but didn't see her anywhere. I asked my mom about it, and then she said it was my great grandma who used to live in the house and also died there. Freaky thing is I had never heard of my great grandma before and or seen pictures of her yet, and I was able to describe her perfectly. Since then, I've been obsessed with ghosts. When I was little, I lost my favorite teddy bear and I went on a long search of my whole house. I never found it. The next day, I asked my parents and my brother if they'd found the teddy bear, but they said I didn't have a teddy bear and that I was probably a dream. I still believe it happened. Maybe they are trying to like, get you over your teddy bear, you know? 
Like a, cause it's like a security blanket kind of a thing. I was texting my guy friend and my friend took my phone and started texting him. She made it look like I like him and I actually do. And I was so embarrassed. I told my, him my friend took my phone and he still didn't believe me. I was about six or so and a seagull came down and stole my big cookie and no one believed it. <laughs> Have you guys seen that picture on Tumblr? The seagull just chomps on the ice cream and the, what well, the guy was trying to take a photo of it. Here it is right here. Also go check out my Tumblr cause I tumble a lot. So when I was maybe five, I don't remember, I had a nightmare. So I woke up and turned over standing right there was my grandma I had never met. And I didn't get scared. She came into my bed and rubbed my back and I fell asleep. My mom believes me. Thanks mom. I was about five and I could see ghosts for as long as I can remember. And I saw this little black cat's body under a bush. I found the flower and put it by the cat and then walked away. When I got home, this little black cat is following me everywhere. From now on, it has been my cute little ghost kitty named Midnight. I put my hand in my brother's fishbowl and I was attacked by his Japanese fighting fish and no one believes me. That's my reasoning for knocking down the fishbowl. <laughs> so my mom told me to take out the trash. I was walking to a dumpster and this homeless person said, come here. My worst fear is being kidnapped. So I threw the trash at him and took off. I was so scared. So I was in the kitchen and I was doing the dishes and there was this really evil fly that kept attacking my face and I got really fed up with it and started flailing the spoon I was holding at it and ended up killing it with the spoon. It was a beautiful thing. When I was about five, my older brother and I were playing video games together. He wanted to show me a magic trick, which was catching a penny in your mouth. I tried it and ended up swallowing it. It got stuck in my throat and went to the hospital. It then got stuck somewhere in my stomach, so I had to get surgery. Jay Fred's actually swallowed a dime and a penny and maybe a nickel at one point. I'm not sure, but he ended up just passing it. Still though, don't swallow coins, kids. When I was little, about three or four, my dad took me to a lake and I was in the water and caught a fish in my swimsuit and I freaked out, no one believes me. <laughs> That'd be the most terrifying thing to just be swimming and then have a fish stuck in your swimsuit. You'd be like, ah, ah, ooh. When I was vacationing in Mexico, I climbed up a palm tree and I got a coconut. I did it guys, why don't you believe me? I worked so hard for that damned coconut. All right guys, it is time for my craziest story that no one ever believes, but before I tell it, make Make sure you subscribe because if you do, I will continue to tell random stories from my past. All right, so I was about 12 maybe and I lost my wallet and it had gone missing for like two or three months and I couldn't find it anywhere. And it's not that big of a deal to like not have your wallet when you're 12, but there was like five bucks in there and I wanted to get some candy. So one night I dreamt that it was like under my bed in the corner, like co covered up by like some clothes or something. And I woke up and I was like, huh, that'd be cool. So I decided to look just for the hell of it. And I found it. And no one believes me that I dreamt that it was there. How else would I have known? All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and answer the question of the day, which is what is the craziest natural disaster that you have ever witnessed or been a part of? Okay, guys, high five.